Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and in this series, we will be hearing from 14 different AWS leaders, each one discussing a different leadership principle. Here to discuss the leadership principle I write a lot, we are joined with Lauren Jauncey, the Inclusion and Diversity Leader for APAC here at AWS. Lauren, thank you so much for being on the show today. I write a lot is a very tricky principle to explain, so can you tell us about what it means to you? Hey, Ali. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. And you're absolutely right. I write a lot is a really interesting principle. And I remember seeing that principle when I was interviewing for my role here at Amazon Web Services. And I remember thinking, oh, it almost sounds a little bit arrogant, doesn't it? I write a lot. But it's not until you look into the definition and you really understand that def definition that it makes more sense. And, and that is leaders are right a lot. They have strong judgment and good instincts. They seek diverse perspectives and work to disconfirm their beliefs. So as you can see from the definition, to be right a lot, we need to seek out those diverse perspectives. And in my role as the head of inclusion and diversity, you know, this, this particular leadership principle is very, very close to my heart. Oh, it's such a great way of looking at it. And if AWS em employees are right a lot, does that mean that there's no room for mistakes? Are they ever wrong? <laughs> well, yes, we are wrong, Ali. I've got to admit that. Uh, and it's important to note that the, the leadership principle says are right a lot, not all always. the time, not always. Uh, but I think this is one of the beautiful things about our leadership principles is, yes, we do have 14, which seems like a lot. But what I think is really nice is when you combine some of those leadership principles together, they certainly make a lot more sense. So, for example, one of our other leadership principles is learn and be curious. And this really encourages us to go deep and understand concepts in different ways. And the way we do that is by understanding diverse perspectives. So, no, we absolutely do encourage our people to, to fail and to make mistakes, but we also encourage them to do that really quickly and learn from those and move, and move on and, and improve as a result. That makes complete sense. So thank you for clarifying. And how do you ensure that you have strong judgment and good instincts? Because you did mention that was part of the, the definition before. Yeah, really good question, Ali. So to me, there's sort of three components that I always consider when making decisions. And first and foremost is data. We are a very data driven organization. And so it's really important that we seek out as much data as possible. Now that can be tricky, particularly in the inclusion and diversity space. You know, finding data on inclusion uh, isn't always the easiest thing to do. But as much as we can, we seek out data. Secondly is listening to your gut. I mean, we have developed up a whole raft of experiences which allow us to have these instincts, um, which although sometimes they may feel like they're not based on anything in particular, actually those gut instincts come about due to many, many years of experience and insight. So you do need to trust your gut. And then thirdly, what I would say, it's about testing those ideas with a whole range of different stakeholders and really thinking uh, about stakeholders who, you know, for me, I wouldn't normally go to. Mm. So if I've got an idea rather than just going to the people who I know will agree with that idea, it's seeking out those people who I know will challenge me on that idea. And I think that relates back to the definition of I write a lot. That's such a great way of looking at it. So thank you for sharing. And Lauren, can you tell us about any initiatives that you're particularly proud of that we have here at AWS, which encourages our teams to practice being right a lot? Absolutely. So one of my, my favorite initiatives that we launched a few months ago is our series called Diversity Beyond Gender. So we know that gender is really important and we know that we've still got lots of work to do in terms of improving the representation of women. However, we also acknowledge that diversity is so much broader than gender. So what we've done recently is set up this series where we're hearing all sorts of diverse stories and perspectives from our Amazonians. And what this does is it challenges our thinking and allows us to think much differently about the concept of diversity and inclusion. 
So, you know, for example, we had a session on neurodiversity where we explored, you know, what, it, what, what that concept is uh, and, you know, how people who, who have neurodiversity, how they bring different value to, the, to an organisation like AWS. We talked about linguistic diversity, which is really relevant to us in terms of the amount of employees who we have here across our APAC business with English as a second language. And we've got another session coming up just next week, which is on family diversity. So we're going to hear about all different types of families and we're going to listen to these leaders talk about what their family situation has helped, how, how their family situation has helped them develop as leaders here at AWS. So I'm really excited about that particular initiative. Well, I absolutely love these sessions. I get so excited when I see them popping up in my diary because it's something fresh and I'm a new mother. So I definitely will be joining that series. So thank you so much, Lauren. It has been such a joy speaking to you today. Before you go, I just want to know what is the love t-shirt that you're wearing? I love it. It's great. But I think it's got something to do with Glamazon I can see there. So please explain. Yes, this is my Glamazon t-shirt that the um, Australian New Zealand Glamazon team very kindly sent me. It's my favourite t-shirt. Um, as you say, as you can see, it says love. Uh, and um, yeah, I look, I absolutely love the work that our Glamazon team do. And, you know, I think it's, uh, it's indicative of the diverse and inclusive workplace that we're really striving to build. Thank you so much, Lauren. You do, are doing such amazing things. So thank you for being a part of AWS and for featuring um, on the R Ride a lot as part of the LP series. So thank you. Thanks so much, Ali. See you next time. Bye.